Hi church family, welcome to Friday afternoon, the start of a weekend, and it's a long weekend this weekend. And in even better news, some of us will be able to meet together for church. And for those of us who can't meet physically, we still have our online church. But it's just great to know that things are slowly coming back to a more normal uh, surrounding. But now it's time to read from the Psalms. Uh, using this book, My Rock and My Refuge, a uh, portion on the Psalms, and then a uh, thought and a prayer from Timothy and Kathy Keller. And we're continuing to go through Psalm 69. So today is Psalm 69, verses 22 to 28. May the table set before them become a snare. May it become retribution and a trap. May their eyes be darkened so they cannot see, and their backs be bent forever. Pour out your wrath on them. Let your fierce anger take over them. May their place be deserted. Let there be no one to dwell in their tents. For they persecute those you would you wound and talk about the pain of those you hurt. Charge them with crime upon crime. Do not let them share in your salvation. May they be blotted out of the book of life and not be listed with the righteous. Charge them with crime. The psalmist prays that his betrayers be damned. How do we read this? First, this startles us into feeling something over the desperation that precedes it, keeping us from being complacent about injustice in the world. By the foreshadowing of Jesus' suffering, sorry, but the foreshadowing of Jesus' suffering reminds us we stand in a different place from the psalmist on the other side of the cross. Stephen looked to Jesus for vindication, not retribution, and prayed for his enemies as they killed him, as did Jesus himself. The psalmist is right to want judgment on evil, but Jesus takes it himself. This forever changes our view of our own deserts and the way we seek justice. Let's pray. Lord, again I am reminded that I must neither abandon seeking justice nor do it with an ounce of vengefulness or ill will. Help me to forgive anyone who wrongs me or those I care about, remembering my own undeserved pardon in Jesus. Yet let me still have the courage and passion necessary to right the wrongs where I can. Amen. Have a great weekend and I'll see you tomorrow.